Now, KCBD Sports. Welcome into KCBD Sports. I'm Dylan Villa. The Lady Raiders were on the road for their WNIT matchup against Arkansas. Plus, Texas Tech baseball went to Austin to take on Texas. We've got those highlights and more from this weekend right now. Let's get it started. Krista Gerlich hoping the Lady Raiders could advance to the Great Eight and like her jacket said, fight, Raiders, fight. Arkansas, they started off hot though. They scored the first 15 points of the game as Sailor Poffenbarger with the three right there. But the motto is, fight, Raiders, fight. It was on full display as Bailey Moppin scores the first points five and a half minutes into the game. And then here comes Tech. Jazz Schaefer goes off glass for the bucket. Bree Scott back home in Arkansas hits the shot and Tech was within six after one. In the second, the Lady Raiders, they kept fighting as Bree hits the three and it gives Tech their first lead of the game. Third quarter, Arkansas, they went on an 11-0 run, but Bryn Gerwig hits the three at the buzzer. Tech down by five going into the fourth quarter. And in the fourth, Bree Scott and the Lady Raiders kept fighting. They cut it to two. Bree had 28 on the night. In the end though, Arkansas would win the Super 16 matchup 71 to 66. Congrats to the Lady Raiders on a fantastic season. You made Lubbock proud. Next, we head to baseball. Number 14, Red Raiders taking on Texas. Top fifth, Tech down one until Kevin Basil belts it into right center. And at the wall, that's going to bring in a run on the double, and we're tied up at one. In the sixth inning, it's Gavin Cash. He's going to take this one to the bank as he hits a huge solo shot in the right field, putting the Red Raiders up two to one. But in the eighth inning, with the bases loaded and Texas already leading by one, the Longhorns will play two here off the double. They led 5-2 at that point, and they'll get the win in game one over Texas Tech, 6-2. Now on to game two, Owen Washburn's going to start this one off with a solo shot in the right center. He almost hit the Longhorn out there. It's 1-0 Red Raiders. Then in the fourth, Tracer Lopez is going to rip this one down the right field line. That's a double, and it'll score a run. Tech now back in front. Still in the fourth, Nolan Hester here. He's going to go opposite field, and it'll be a close play at the plate as Tracer Lopez has the wheels to finish the 180-foot sprint from second to home. He's safe. It's 3-1 Red Raiders now. Sixth inning, it's 3-2. Porter Brown for Texas is going to get this one into left center, and that's going to tie this one up at three. Now on to the ninth inning, bottom of the ninth, tech down, or sorry, top of the ninth, tech down 5-3. Gavin Cash, the former Longhorn, with the double down the right field line. That plates two runs, and we're tied heading to the bottom of the ninth inning. But with a runner on third, the wild pitch for Texas Tech is going to get away, and Texas is going to bring this one home with a walk-off, 6-5. Now it's time on to some softball as Tech Softball opens Big 12 play against number eight Texas. Top of the first, Ariana Villa, that's a familiar last name, drills this one into deep center field for the home run. Tech's 58th on the season. They led 1-0. Then tied at one in the sixth, Peyton Blythe. She lines the fluorescent highlighter yellow ball all the way to the wall. A run's going to score on the two-out double. Tech leads 2-1. to one. Bottom of the seventh, though, Texas is going to finish the job off and they get the walk-off here, 3-2, to two, Texas takes game one. Now it's time for some extra innings time, uh, baseball as Odessa Permian softball is at Friendship. Really, Ashcroft gets the strikeout swinging to start here, and then it's Ashcroft again. This time it won't be as good for her as it is popped by Michaela Sanchez deep into the left center field wall. It is 4-1 to one Permian, but the Tigers, they wore back 2 on. And, as you can see here, the pitch is going to be crushed by Jill Franco. Any relation to Julio Franco, perhaps? You can kiss it goodbye. The three-run shot's going to tie this one up at four. But the Mojo, they would go on to have a huge win by a final of 21-5. to five. You heard me right. Abilene Cooper over at Lubbock High here. No score in the second. It's Cheyenne Sutton. She's going to send it up near the flagpole, and it's gone. Man, that's patriotic right there. Lady Coos go up 1-0. LHS is battling back. They would get on base, and Lily Reyna off to deep center. She's happy to see it get all the way to the wall. She's in there at second. Same inning, base is loaded. A Lubbock high bun tries to send Reyna home, but she's ruled out at the plate. 
Lady Westerners would go on to win the game in extra innings by a score of 9-8, to eight, a big win for the team. Next we have number 8, Leveland at Estacado. Lobowetz, Chloe Castantino sees a pitch she likes and hammers it to the deep center and it's out of here, forget about it. 2 nothing Leveland. Estacado later on trying to move the runner here with a bunt and it's going to go straight up in the air. It's caught for the out, but watch this. They try to go for the double play and it gets past the first baseman. It goes to Norma Salazar who's going to run all the way from first to home to give Estacado the 3-2 lead. The next inning, the very next inning, the Lobo-Ats back on the attack. Angelica Gonzalez into center field. The center fielder can't glove it. That's going to bring home one and level land. It's going to win this one 12-3. They are the extra innings team of the week. You can catch them here Sunday night at 10 on KCBD Sports Extra. Next up is the new home Leopards hosting Ropes. Logan Addison on the bump. He gets Cade Franklin to strike out swinging. New home up 3-0. Now 3-1. We get the ball here in the dirt. That's going to allow Mason Marmalejo to barrel roll into home. You see that? Make it a one-run game. Moments later, Hayden Torres, he's still hitting here. He has a grounder that's towards third. The throw and the first baseman cannot dig it out. It ties the game at three. But Addison will get the strikeout to end the inning and end the damage. And New Home is going to come back and win this one 8-4. to four. The two schools will square off again on Tuesday in ropes. And lastly, LCU at home against Angelo State. Carson Olgave finds the gap in left center here for the double. That's going to play his run as well as the Chaps are heating up. Moments later in the game, Eduardo Acosta is going to drive in Ogavale with a base hit up the middle. The junior keeps LCU in it, but in the end, Angelo State would roll through with a final score of 20-6. to 6. That's going to do it for sports. Stay with us. We'll be right back.